Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rato. I have done the in Five Simulation, and today we will discuss about postman hypostasis. Postman hypostasis is one of the early signs of death. This has many synonyms. It is also known as liver mortis, vasculitis, segregations, postman or cadaveric lividity, darkening of death, and many other names. Postman lividity is a purplish or reddish purple areas of discoloration of discoloration of skin and organs after death. due to accumulation of blood in different parts of the body and seen through skin such as shoulder blades and buttocks and calves it is caused mainly because after periods of circulation there is a stagnation of blood in the vessels and it tends to sink by the force of gravity in the capillaries and venules of the different parts of the body so if after death as circulation stops blood starts accumulating in the capillaries and this leads to discoloration in the skin mainly in the different parts of the body This is the image of postman hypostasis. As we can see, the discoloration seen here. This is reddish, uh, purplish discoloration, which is seen in the dependent parts of the body. Postman hypostasis starts immediately after death, apparent for after two hours, and fixed for about eight hours. So it takes about two two hours. It starts within one hour. It starts for two hours, and up to eight six to eight hours, it becomes fixed. May not be upper. appear at the early in in infants old and anemic anemic individuals early hours after that it appears in the form of blotchy which usually sinks down and becomes concrete in the most dependent parts of the body fixation of postmortem staining or postmortem hypostasis or postmortem lividity the body is undisturbed and disturbed the staining gets fixed in 8 to 12 hours and persists until the putrefaction sets in if the position of the body is altered after fixation the staining will not change and will remain such as such though the color may fade or become slightly in intensity distribution of hypostasis it mainly depends on the position of the body so if the based on the position of the body post on stasis also changes if the person has died in a supine position it is mainly present in the shoulders or buttocks regions but in regions where it is the the part of the body which touches the ground it will be paler in color mainly in regions of heels or shoulder blades the person is died vertically mainly in case of hanging it is usually present in the legs and feet in case of drowning it may be seen in the chest region upper chest region or upper limbs if the person has died in a face down death as in case of epilepsy and drunken cases it is seen mainly in the there is whitening present near the nose and lips and redding present near the face hypostasis may also occur in visceras mainly in heart lungs and other organs If it is seen in heart, it may be mistaken for myocardial infarctions. In lungs, it may be mistaken for pneumonia. In intestine, it may be mistaken for hemorrhagic infarctions. Fate of postman staining mainly after eight to twelve hours, as the putrefaction starts, bacteria starts growing. It merges with the putrefactive changes. Initially, there is hemolysis of blood and diffusion of blood pigments into the surrounding tissue, where it undergoes secondary changes. Later, has decomposition process. the staining becomes dark in color and turns brown and green mummification staining becomes brown and black with drying in the body as the body dies so mainly as the late changes starts that is putrefaction mummification becomes formation it merges with the decomposition and as the blood starts decomposed it, the color changes from brown and green color of hypostasis The color of hypostasis is variable and depends on the state of oxygen in the body. Mainly, it is usually in the bluish pink in color, but in some times it is a also a good indicator of mode of death, since the color may indicate the pathology of the body. So, for example, if it is cherry ring, cherry pink in color, it usually indicates carbon monoxide poisoning. Dark bluish pink color is seen in cyanide poisoning. Brown color in methemoglobinemia. brown color is seen in case of septic abortion caused by clostridium propagans and paler means it is less pink in color it may be seen in anemic or hemorrhage person if that person died because of hemorrhage the it will be paler in color now coming to difference between postman staining and bruises bruises are contusions where whenever there is a force applied to the body the under underlying capillaries may rupture and get accumulated there is elevation that is contusions so this may be confused after in after death and we have to differentiate it situation mainly postman staining is present in the dependent parts of the body bruises may be present anywhere it is usually under surface of the skin 
Bruises are only subcutaneous tissue level. Surface is not elevated in post training, it is elevated, slight elevated in bruises. Margins are clearly defined in staining, it is diffuse in bruises. Color is bluish to purplish red. And bruises it is reddish when fresh and changes based on time. Cows is mainly capillary venous distension with blood. Here, the bruises, there is extravation of blood from the capillaries. So, capillaries are ruptured in bruises and they are intact in postmortem staining. Nature of staining, postmortem staining is mainly postmortem, but it occurs after death. Bruises are mainly the antimortem change. When pressure is applied, postmortem change appear, appears pale, but there is no change in the bruises. If we take cut section, blood bruises from the cut section, which can be cleaned by washing, but bruises because the blood is present, it gets hemorrhage in the tissue, which cannot be washed, it gets clotted, is seen. Microscopically, there is engorgement of capillary infiltration. Bruises, there is extraction of blood and there is cellular infiltration present. Enzymatic change, there is no change. Enzymatically, there is changes in level of certain enzymes are seen. Medical legal importance is, it can be, post time can be used for time of death and position of the body can be known. Bruises are mainly used for nature of injury and weapon, type of weapon used. Medical legal importance of post staining, it is a sign of death. So, post staining present indicates the surest sign of death. The time since death can be roughly estimated from the formation, extension and fixation. It also indicates the position of the body based on the distribution of post staining. May indicate the moving of the body to another position means if there is body is moved, then the there is slight change in the position of the postural staining. Cause of death may be judged from the distribution and color of the postural staining, mainly the poisoning cases like in cherry red, cherry red, cherry pink in color is seen in common of poisoning. In early phase of formation, it may be confused with bruises when patchy and small. It may be confused with congestion of organs or congestion of other parts of the body. So, it has to be differentiated based on the like pressing it, it may pressing it or cutting it, uh, taking a cut section will make will uh, tell the difference between the postural staining and bruises. These are my references. Thank you.